Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to our channel where we explore all things Enid and, and automation. In today's video, we are gonna show you how to update your Enid and version using Docker and Docker Compose. So buckle up and let's get started. Before we dive in, let's quickly go over what Enid and is for those who might be new here. Enid and is an awesome open source workflow automation tool that lets you automate repetitive tasks and streamline your workflows. With a visual interface, you can create complex workflows by simply dragging and dropping nodes onto a canvas and connecting them together. No coding needed. How cool is that? And it then is super flexible and can be useful in various industries like marketing automation, data processing, project management, and more. Plus, it's open source, so you can contribute to its development or customize it as per your needs. No wonder it's so popular among businesses looking to optimize their processes. Now, you might be wondering, why should I update my NADN version? Well, there are several reasons. Number one, bug fixes. Updating ensures any known bugs have been fixed, improving stability and reliability. Number two, New features stay up to date with the latest development on workflow automation and make your life easier. Number three, security patches. Keep your system safe from potential vulnerabilities. And number four, performance improvements. Faster and more efficient workflows. Who wouldn't want to do this? So updating is crucial for maintaining optimal performance and efficiency. And before we get to updating, make sure you have the following. Number one, a running instance of Docker Compose. Number two, an existing installation of NDN, of course. And number three, back up your data. Better safe than sorry, every time backup. Number four, access credentials for the Docker Hub repository. Actually, you don't need this. I don't know why this is in here. Anyway, Having these prerequisites in place will help you avoid any issues during the update process. All right, now let's update your NADN version. Just follow these steps I will teach you. Step number one, stop all running containers. With this command, docker compose down. So connect to your instance and run this command, docker compose down. This takes a few seconds and everything gets shut down. Step number two, pull the latest image from Docker Hub using Docker Compose Pull. And step number three, start the updated container with this command, docker compose up minus D. And that's it. You now have an updated NLN version up and running. Remember, you might need to reconfigure some customizations after updating, depends on your setup. Finally, let's test the updated version to make sure everything works smoothly. So first of all, check the logs by running docker compose logs dash F. Everything seems fine. Uh, usually this can take some time until everything is there already. That depends on your system as well. And now of course, access NDN through your web browser and see if everything loads correctly. So here I saw I had an update to do and now I will just refresh the window. Da -da -da. And here I am, everything is working as expected. And here, the last step, test your existing workflows and nodes to make sure they still work as expected. Yeah, that's on your own. By doing these tests, you will ensure that your updated NADN version is running without any hiccups. And there you have it, folks. That's how you update your NADN version using Docker and Docker Compose. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more awesome NADN and automation content. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video. Happy automating.